Hello there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at iklik mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 11 learners! Sa video na ito ay igagide ko kayo sa inyong module 4 about simple and general annuities. Pero bago natin simulan yung mga activities ninyo, ay kailangan muna nating malaman kung ano nga ba ang simple and general annuities. There are types of annuity according to correspondence of payment intervals with interest periods. Sa simple annuity, the payment interval is also the same as the interest period. So, pareho yung payment interval sa interest period. Ang general annuity naman refers to an annuity where the length of the payment interval is not the same as the length of the interest compounding period. If the payment for each period is fixed and the compound interest rate is fixed over a specific time, the payment is called an annuity payment. Accounts associated with streams of annuity payment are called annuities. Annuity is a sequence of payments made at equal or fixed intervals or periods of time. So, ibig sabihin, pare-pareho yung babayaran mo in fixed interval or period of time. The following are examples of annuities. Number one, rental payment. Diba pag meron kayong mga nirerentahan na apartment or boarding house, fix yung binabayarin ninyo monthly. Pwedeng 1,000 monthly, pwedeng 4,000, pwedeng 500. Okay? Sa probinsya, meron pa ngang 200 eh. Tapos yung mga monthly pensions ng mga lolo at lola natin. Diba pag nagpe-pension sila, the same amount yung nare-receive nila within 1 year or pwede rin namang mag-increase depende na lang sa situation. Pwede rin sa monthly payment for car loan. For example, 25,000 in a month. Pwede rin 15,000 in a month. Okay? Pwede rin sa tricycle. Pwede rin sa motorcycle. At ang example pa ay educational plan. Okay? So, yung binabayaran mo na pare-pareho, ang tawag doon ay annuities. Different ways as follows. So, yung mga different types of annuities. According to payment interval and interest period, sa simple annuity, the payment interval is the same as the interest period. Sa general annuity naman, an annuity where the payment interval is not the same as the interest period. So, yun yung pinagkaiba nila dito, pareho, pero dito hindi sila pareho. According to time of payment, Sa ordinary annuity, a type of annuity in which the payments are made at the end of each payment interval. So, at the end ito. Sa contingent annuity, an annuity in which the payments extend over an indefinite or indeterminate length of time. So, pwedeng mag-extend. According to duration naman, annuity certain ang tawag, it is an annuity in which payments begin and end at definite time. Sa contingent annuity, an annuity in which the payments extend over an indefinite or indeterminate length of time. So, these are the following definition and terms na kailangan nating malaman. Each payment in an annuity is called the periodic payment or yung R. The time between the successive payments dates of an annuity is called the payment interval. The time between the first payment interval and last payment interval is called term of the annuity or T. So, kapag sa compound interest at simple interest, yung T doon is yung time. Dito naman, term of the annuity. Okay? Or this is the time pa rin naman. The sum of the future values of all the payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity is the future value or the amount of an annuity. So, ito yung capital letter F. The sum of the present values of all payments to be made 
during the entire term of the annuity is called the present value of N, an annuity to, ha? It is denoted by capital letter P. Okay? So, para i-maigide ko kayo dito sa activity 1.1, disclaimer lang ha, pinapalitan ko yung given dito para guide nyo lang ito. Read each problem carefully and tell whether each of the given information describes a simple annuity or general annuity. Complete the diagram that follows. Sa simple annuity, yung payment interval is the same lang din siya sa interest niya. So, general annuity naman, so this is for simple annuity. Sa general annuity naman, hindi equal yung payment interval doon sa interest. So, yun yung pinagkaiba nila. Let's say, for example, monthly payments of 4,000 pesos for 4 years with interest rate of 3% compounded monthly. Ano yung payment interval niya? Di ba monthly payments daw? Monthly. At ano naman yung interest period pala to? Interest period. So, ang interest period nito, compounded monthly. So, monthly ito, monthly ito, the same sila, meaning to say, ang type of annuity na to is the simple annuity. Okay? Kasi same silang monthly. Monthly payments at compounded monthly. Kaya, Simple annuity. Kung hindi sila pareho, general annuity naman ang tawag doon. Okay? So, meron tayong monthly payments na 4,000 for 4 years with interest rate of 3%. So, ilan ulit yung 3% sa decimal form? 0.03. Okay? Pag simple annuity, the same lang din yung babayaran mo. Meaning to say, ang ilalagay natin dito is 4,000 pesos. 4,000 dito, 4,000 din dito, 4,000 dito, and 4,000 din dapat dito. So, bago natin sagutan itong mga boxes dito, yung mga space or mga blank box, papakita ko lang itong format for the time diagram for an end payment ordinary annuity. Itong nakikita ninyong R dito, this is the regular payment na binabayaran. Yung pare-parehong bayad mo monthly or yearly or quarterly or semi-annually, depende sa given na situation. Tapos yung nandito sa baba niya, this is the time of kung ang nakalagay doon sa given is 8 years, syempre magdadagdag ka dyan ng 6, 7, at saka 8. Tapos, dito sa pinakalas, yun yung N. Ano yung N ulit? Diba? That is equal to M times T. So, yung M, yun yung tinuro ko dati. Yung nasa table natin na kapag annually is 1, semi-annually is 2, quarterly is 4, at kapag monthly naman is 12. Okay? So, ano ang ilalagay natin dito sa box na to? Ito yung N. So, yung N is equal to M times T. Ang M natin is compounded monthly. Ibig sabihin, this is 12. Kaya, 12 times, ano yung T natin? That is 4 years. So, 12 times 4 is equal to 48. So, yun yung ilalagay ninyo dito. That is 48. So, dito naman, Gagamitin natin yung formula for compound interest. Yung A dito is the same as future value. Iba lang yung symbol na ginamit. So, that would be equal to regular payment na 4,000 pesos. So, 4,000 pesos, multiply it by 1 plus, ang I natin diba is equal to rate over M. Meaning to say, yung rate natin is 0.03. Ang M natin is monthly, compounded monthly. Kaya divide natin yan by 12. So, 0.03 divided by 12. That would be equal to 0.0025. So, ito yung I natin. Yun yung ilalagay natin dito. 0.0025. Raised to the power of N minus 1. Ang N natin is 48. Minus 1 equals 47. So, ang ilalagay natin dito sa box na to is equal to 4,000 
times 1 plus 0 0.0025 equals 1.0025 raised to the power of 47. Dito naman sa box na to, bawasan lang natin yung n ng 2. So that is equal to 4,000 pesos times 1.0025 raised to the power of 46. Dito naman bawasan natin ng 3. So 4,000 pesos times 1.0025 raised to the power of 45. Ang ilalagay ninyo dito sa pinakalas is katulad lang din ng periodic payment pero hindi na natin siya i-multiply dito. Kasi ang magiging huli ay 4,000 times 1.0025 raised to the power of 0 na yan. Kaya, di ba ito is magiging 1? So, 1 times 4,000 is equal to 4,000 na lang. Okay? Dito sa pagitan ng box na to at ito, meron pa yung mga formulas pero nababawasan lang siya ng isa. Pero tatlo lang kasi yung hinihingi dito, kaya ito lang ang ilalagay natin. So, ganito ang gawin ninyo sa cash flow for simple annuity. Correction lang ha, yung I natin dito is rate over M. So, kailangan muna nating i-divide yung rate sa compounding frequency. Klaro? Since hindi naman niya tinatanong dito kung ilan yung simple annuity, ito lang muna ang gagawin natin. Kukomplete muna natin yung table. Okay? Isasama ko na dito yung activity 1.2 kasi pareho silang simple annuity. Yearly payment of 15,000 for 10 years with interest rate 8% compounded annually. And as you can see, annually dito, same sila ng regular payment at saka yung interest period na annually. So, the same sila, meaning to say, this is a simple annuity. Okay? Kagaya lang din dun sa previous activity natin dito sa nauna, gagawa tayo ng... So, kopyahin na lang muna natin itong table dito. Ang yearly payment mo daw for 10 years is 15,000 pesos. So, ang ilalagay natin dito is 15,000 pesos. Okay? 15,000 pesos dito kasi nga regular, dapat pare-pareho. 15,000 pesos. Okay? Ngayon, dito sa pinakhuling babayaran mo is the same as doon sa regular payment or periodic payment na 15,000 pesos. At ano ulit yung ilalagay natin dito? Ang N natin, ah, sorry, dapat dito sa baba to. So, 15,000 pesos dito. And dito yung N natin. So, ang N natin is 1, pag annually that is 1. Times, ang year natin is 10 years, so M times T is equal to 10. Okay? Dito sa box na to, ang ilalagay natin is this formula. So, ang regular payment natin is 15,000 pesos. Multiply natin sa 1 plus I is equal to rate over M. Ang rate natin is 8%, so 0 0.08 divide it by Annually kaya 1. So, 0 0.08 divided by 1 is equal to 0 0.08 pa rin. Okay? Raise to the power of n minus 1. So, ang n natin is 10 minus 1 that is equal to 9. Simplify 15,000 pesos times 1 plus 0 0.08 is equal to 1.08. Raise to the power of 9. And then, mag-subtract lang tayo ng 2. Sa 10, dito natin ilalagay 15,000 pesos times 1.08 raised to the power of 8 naman. And then dito naman, 15,000 pesos times 1.08 raised to the power of 7. Okay? So, ganun lang ang gagawin ninyo in the time diagram. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung susunod na activity tungkol naman sa general annuity, paghihiwalayin ko para hindi kayo malito, okay? Click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. 
Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!